Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron here. Today we're going to look at how the concept of beauty and that humans, above any other creature that's created uh, in the material world, can admire things. It shows us that we were created in the image of God. You say, well, how would that show you're creating the image of God? Well, first of all, if you are an atheistic materialist and you believe in Darwinianism or Neo-Darwinianism, you would believe it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world and beauty would play no concept in that. It would be the survival of the fittest, the first law of the jungle. It would be just trying to get obtain power, that void Nietzsche talks about, that will to power since God was dead in his mind and in application of Western society. And so there would be no need to look at the mountains. All your goal would be for survival and to accumulate power and to eliminate enemies and to make the gene pool better. But here we are. We built telescopes not just to observe and to learn, but for beauty. We think the world above is beautiful. We th there's something exhilarating with art, architecture, nature, these type things. And so mankind has this need for beauty, this need for that which longs for Eden. You see, in our dispensation, all beauty is is an echoing back to Eden, a time when everything was perfect. In Psalm 96 and 9, it says, Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before Him all the earth. The beauty of holiness. So, atheism has a very deep struggle with the concept of beauty. And that's the reason so much atheism leads to ugliness, linen, blood spill, mouth. They're not into the arts. They're not into these things. If they're into the sciences, it's only for human manipulation and for their own greed. It is not for helping mankind. So today, the concept of beauty shows us that there is a God, that mankind uniquely has created the image of God. And with that being so, I want to encourage you. If there was a God, He loves you. God is love. It's obvious looking at the world around us. He's very merciful, the sun rising, everything just perfect in our atmosphere, oxygen, nitrogen, plants growing, they smell good. Just so many things show us that there is a beauty and that there is a God who loves us. He loves us. He cares for us. He became a human being. He died for us. That was the only way to pay for our sins. He didn't send a second person. He came himself in the form of his son. Jesus Christ. And so that being the case, when you come in through his substitutionary death, the judge then paid the penalty for our debt, for our sins. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ becomes the central point of all of human history. It was in the mind of God from eternity past. I want to encourage you today just to receive it, to accept it. You're raging against something you claim doesn't exist. Have you thought about the absurdity of that? The concept of beauty. Think about it. Don't just try to come up with an intellectual argument of why it doesn't exist. Think deeply. Drink deep of that Korean spring. Get it. Jesus loves you. He's tugging at your heart. He's knocking on the heart's door just like he did Saul, who came, became a great apostle. You might become a great apostle for the greatest thing in the world. It's by many evidences. Every evidence in the world points to the validity of the Christian faith. God bless you today.